Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyana Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'd ahabatu fillah the mu'min is always between hope and fear hope that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will accept his or her ibadah and tawbah and fear of the punishment of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and fear of his or her shortcomings. And that's why the mu'min should always be conscious and always be supplicating to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is a part of the dhikr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is how we remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and how we protect and preserve ourselves as believers. And that's why the dua is the fortification of the believer. Our supplications are our fortification. They are the means to protect us. They are the means to save us. They are the means to assist us and to give us what we want and what we desire and what we need. All of that is Tawheed. This is why Ahlul Sunnati Wal Jama'ah is so vigilant and staunch about the concept of supplicating only to Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. This is why we don't go to the graves and we don't supplicate to our saints and we don't supplicate towards or through our ancestors or anyone else. But rather we realize as the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said in the authentic hadith in Sunan Tirmidhi, a dua hu ibadah. Supplication is worship. So the believer is always supplicating to Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala alone. Without any wasta, without any, anyone coming between him or her. The believer is always asking and begging Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala for forgiveness. And this is Tawheed. This is what is known as the concept of Tawheed al ibadah Tawheed of worship. That all worship in its various forms, it all belongs to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And he has no partner. He shares with no one in divinity. We don't share with 12 imams and say that they're infallible. We don't even share with the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. We don't supplicate to him Sallallahu Alaihi wa Alaihi Wasallam. We don't ask the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam for anything. Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. But rather our supplications, our dua, because it's ibadah as the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, it goes to Allah Azza wa Jal. A dua huwa ibadah. Supplication, it is worship. That is the what the believers part of the itiqad of Ahl Sunnati wa Jama'ah the itiqad, the creed of Ahl Iman, of the people of Iman and the people of faith and the people of Sunnah that they worship only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone that's what it means to be from Ahl Sunnah is that you leave shirk and all of its manifestations alone because there are so many ways and means to deceive us even in the cloak of Islam, that people cloak things and deceive people, saying that what they're doing is okay, that it's mishroor, that it is, it is something okay because the righteous used to do it. But can they say the Sahaba to Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, radiallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'in, did these things? Can they say that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam allowed for these actions and these various types of worship if they if the answer is no then leave it and we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and bless us to be ahle from ahle ikhlas with iman wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam